Hi, this is Patty Sheely with BigFluffyFat.com, and today I want to talk to you about the five of the top ten excuses for holiday weight gain. We all know that the holidays are coming right around the corner, and it's the most challenging time of the year, other than maybe vacation, to keep our weight down or to maintain our weight if we're just trying to, you know, not have a lot of weight to, to take care of during the new year. And so I want to talk about the top five excuses. The first excuse is that it would insult the hostess. After all, we all go to a number of holiday parties and it seems like the hostesses uh, make their most decadent treats during that time of year. And if you add them all up together, they probably have enough calories in them to last us all year through. And so the trick is to get through these events while enjoying our relationships and our friends without damaging our weight control issues and, or our weight control efforts. And the first way that I like to do it is I fill my plate up, if there's a vegetable tray or a fruit tray, I fill my plate up 65 to 75 percent of those items and then I'll just pick one or two things that are really really special to enjoy and I absolutely rave about them. You know I'll say you know this is the very very best deep fat fried pickled jalapeno I have ever had in my life or whatever the food happens to be. I absolutely rave about it and I truly do enjoy those things that I choose to indulge in. So the second thing that we can do is we can talk to the person about how much we truly value their friendship above the food. And so we can say, you know, I have made a commitment to uh, care for my body this holiday season by just celebrating the food part of Christmas on Christmas Day, New Year's Day, Thanksgiving Day, those the actual holidays. And the rest of the time, I spend my efforts valuing the people that I have an opportunity to get together with during this time of year so that they can recognize, hey, look, this person is, hopefully they'll honor your commitment to care for your body. The second thing that I'd like to say as far as one of the top five is, um, I don't, we're all so busy this time of year. I mean, we just don't have a lot of time to to shop and there's so much food available to just grab and one of the things that I like to do to take care of that situation is I'll freeze a few meals in advance you know I'll freeze a big pot of uh, taco soup or uh, a few you know just a few meals that I know can freeze well that I can keep in the refrigerator pop them in the oven and have them available so my go-to foods my convenience foods are appropriate for my body style and in, rather than just go oh well it's so easy just to go over here and grab this other thing uh, I'm able to get something that's healthy the third thing that I'd like to talk about is the stress level that we all experience during the holidays um, you know, it's, oh, will it be perfect enough? And, the, and our schedules are especially busy. And sometimes there's a certain amount of um, tension between friends or family members uh, of different people having different ways they'd like us to celebrate. And the fact is, it all comes together to be pretty stressful. And so what I do is I, I put a a stop sign on my refrigerator door. It's actually free at big, bigfluffyfat.com. You can, there's a printable, uh, you know, binge buster website and put your top three stress busters. You know, for you, is it prayer? Is it taking a walk? Is it calling a friend? What are your top three stress busters? And write those down so that you have this, this rem visual reminder to stop yourself before you just open the refrigerator and, you know, heave ho some more food. The fourth one is that Christmas, Christmas comes only once a year, so we might as well enjoy all the food. Well, you know what? That is really not an excuse. There's no, no law that says you're less festive if you don't if you keep your kitchen free of a bottomless pit of cheese balls and fudge and eggnog okay you can be just as festive with a few other fr uh, things for example in our family I try to keep out nuts um, certain produce that's only available this time of year. I absolutely love Majul dates and they're only available in the winter time so I keep some of those on hand during the, the, the time of year. And Think of more healthful options that can be festive for you that will do less damage than some of the more high quality, high calorie, high sugar options that are, are commonly around this time of year. The fifth item that I want to talk about today is that the children will be absolutely so disappointed if we don't fill them with lots of sugar. Well now let's really think about this for a minute. Um, 
how likely is it that they're going to really have a legitimate case for holding you or I responsible for their failures and disappointments in, for the rest of their life because we fail to provide them limitless amounts of Christmas cookies? You know, why not do other things with them to, to remember the holiday season? You know, start a tradition to look at tr Christmas lights or go Christmas caroling or take a walk or... Um, help out at a, at a, at a, at a homeless shelter, you know, other, other traditions that are more pertinent in many ways to the actual holiday than just eating. Um, and, and at the same time are going to, are going to instill the right, the right values in our kids. So those are, those are the first five of my top 10 holiday excuses for weight gain. And I uh, hope you enjoyed them. And uh, in the next day or two, I'll post the rest of them. Thank you. This is Patty Sheely signing off with BigFluffyFat.com.